No, Mom, not right now. I just saw the new Star Wars movie, and I need to get on the computer and talk about it. Well, I just saw Return of the Jedi, and let me say, it's good, but not the best. Perhaps it didn't have as crafty an ending as I hoped, but a reasonably satisfying ending. I felt very good <laughs> leaving the theater, happy with the movie I just saw. <laughs> this movie is rather dark. It's the Temple of Doom of Star Wars movies. I am afraid that the movie is possibly not suitable for very young children. I advise parents to check it out before taking kids to see this. There's some scenes a little violent and some that will scare young children. And my friend saw it and said it was a 6 out of 10. What would you say? Out of the 12 I saw it with, we all gave it a 10 out of 10. We're all going to see it again before we give it a final rating. The overall feeling was it was really good. The crowd for the first showing applauded and cheered throughout the movie and gave a standing ovation at the end. Of course, some of these folks were the die-hard nerds who camped out all night to be the first to see it. I saw it last night and the production quality was better than ever. Harrison Ford does a superb acting job. What scenes did you like? Well, I really liked Jabba's floating barge. It looked amazing. The movie isn't perfect and I have some problems. Star Wars, aka A New Hope, and The Empire Strikes Back were good movies that could stand on their own. No way does Return of the Jedi do that. There was very little continuity of action in contrast to the others that says Mark Hamill can't act. He has the only believably written part in the story. Many scenes in the movies were not very believable. What do you mean by that? Well, for one, Jabba, he was okay, but there's something about him not believable. Like after Luke kills Jabba's monster, we see some Jabba folks mourning. That was so unrealistic. It seems unlikely that guards for Jabba would have had either the time or the inclination to gain affection for a beast that might eat them one day. <laughs> it didn't work at all and wasn't funny at all. Yeah, much of the funny moments in the movie wasn't funny at all. Jabba's place is to be scary. Any comic relief should have been held until after those scenes. I love when Leo is revealed to be the bounty hunter and free Han Solo. Oh, brother, give me a break. Someone who loves you a whole lot? <laughs> that line was not realistic at all. Think about it. She was trying to get him out of there. That cheesy greeting card schmaltz should have waited until they escaped. And we're to believe Leia loved Han Solo so much she was willing to be raped by another species? Mm -hmm. Also, Jabba is one of the harder gangster types. It was a little too easy for Leia to just strangle him. It was so melodramatic. It was there only as a women's lib symbolic kind of act. Yeah. I love the lightsaber fight when Luke jumped into the air, grabbed his saber, and started kicking butt. Yeah, that seems so unreal. Why would Luke wait until they were about to make him walk the plank? It would have been better if Luke just jumped into the monster's hole and then jumped out at the same time, catching his lightsaber. Yeah, total surprise. That was a pretty cool scene with all that fighting. And what about that opening read? Something like, little does Luke know, the Empire is building a new Death Star. Ouch. I had to pull the corn cobs out of my ribs when I read that. <laughs> and it gets worse. When we see the movie, Luke finds out about the Death Star after he rescues Han. The Death Star scene was the best. Luke finding the old Emperor guy and Darth Vader? I call that the Wrath of the Emperor. He jumps up and starts throwing around sparks all over the place, zapping Luke here and zapping him there. If he did those things with his mind, it would have been far, far better. 
Him sitting there with his eyes closed as Sparks engulfed Luke. <laughs> also, we should have seen the holographic <laughs> Emperor after he dies, but with a look of panic and terror on his face, and he slowly disappears. That sounds like some stuff written by a fan. Well, why wouldn't Yoda, the most powerful Jedi ever, available in a holographic image just as soon as he died? It's never explained. Also, in Empire, he said Luke needed to stay for more training. But here he is. You're a Jedi now. No more training. What's up with that? Did you like the Ewoks at least? I love them. Ah, they're so annoying mostly. There was the scene where the furry <laughs> little people are destroying the two-legged <laughs> tanks. They find about six or seven ways to do that, and in every way, it's just comic relief. <laughs> well, the Death Star battle scene was good. Better than in the first Star Wars. Eh, it looked good, but why was the Rebel Cruiser able to withstand a planet-bursting blast from a fully operational Death Star? It was like they forgot that it could blow up a planet. Doesn't sound like you liked it as much as you said. I did enjoy it, but it had problems for sure. I did love how Obi-Wan explained how he lied to Luke about Darth Vader. Perhaps I like that because that's probably what I would have written myself. <laughs> Is that all you liked about the movie? I liked that the other Yoda teased about was Darth Vader. Sure, some say it was Princess Leia, but she did nothing at all to <laughs> defeat the Emperor. Darth Vader did that. <laughs> I didn't think going into this movie I could care so much about Darth Vader and feel sorry for him. Finally, Darth Vader dies. It's about time. It's not about Luke or Han. It's because his life support system got zorded by the Emperor. That might have been the weakest moment of the film. It made me laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It was a good way to kill off Darth Vader. Nah, yeah, you would like something like that. It's time to eat. Well, I need to run. I gotta go out and get some pizza, and then we're gonna go see Return of the Jedi again. I can't wait. See ya. Bye. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> Channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.